cartilage in my hips, and they were bone on bone for quite a few years, and got pretty painful. So, and we were playing Giant Stadium, and um, I, you know, there's no cartilage left anyway. You should do a dive roll on the Born USA tour, where you you know you dive over uh, in the air and roll out. But when you're holding a guitar, you know you don't have your hands, and so you land on your neck. So you got to go forward quite a bit, so it doesn't hurt too much. But anyway, we used to do a bit where I do that and. Then Bruce stopped me and he got down and made me jump over him. And you know, I told Clarence, pay attention, I'm gonna try something. I stopped Bruce and I made Clarence get down next to him, so I was jumping over the Camaro and the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and having too much fun. Phil Dunphy, our trainer back then, uh, after a few of those, he uh, pulled us aside and very uncharacteristically, because uh, actually he was a great, he's still a great friend. Um, but in the early 80s, Bruce hurt his back and he got him training and Bruce really went to the races with his health and has been really on it ever since uh, to our great benefit. But Phil took us aside and said, look, you guys think this is all funny games, but you know, jumping over you and Clarence, Nils is coming down like this on his neck and pretty soon you're going to have a paralyzed guitar player. So I hope you're thinking of someone else because you guys got to <laughs> knock it off pretty soon or you're going to lose a band member. And uh, so, you know, uncharacteristically, we listened to him. But anyway, years forward, uh, we were playing Giant Stadium, and at this point, I thought to myself, wow, you know, because of Night Soul, I kind of hop back, and I do this spin, and I thought, what the hell, there's no cartilage left to destroy. Maybe I'll try the dive roll in the middle of the solo and surprise everybody. <laughs> so, you know, I, I didn't want to say anything to anybody, because, you know, you didn't want to jinx it. And, I didn't want to give anybody, including the singer, a chance to say, don't do it. So I just told the lighting man, I said, look, if you see me hopping back, and all of a sudden I go right at Clarence to get a lot of real estate, that means I'm going to do it. I just don't know if I'm going to be heating it up. And I just told Clarence, hey, Clarence, keep an eye on me. If I start hopping your way, give me some room. I might try something. And he said, okay. That was where I said, okay. I'll just watch it. Whatever the hell you want to do. And that's the beauty of being in a band like that. So this night I felt like, you know, I could do it, because of course when you can do it in the stadium, people have to see it. So it was just me and the lighting director, nobody else knew about it. And uh, sure enough, I felt heated up, I started hopping for Clarence, he got out of my way, and Paul Dast did his dive roll right in the middle of the solo, pop up in front of Bruce, he had a shot to work on his face. <laughs> and uh, it was a good bit, went well, I did it the next night too. If uh, you know, and, uh, my website, nosloffman.com, there's a, a free page called Rockality. It has a couple of good stories. That's one of them. If you want to check it out. And then the other page called Rockality. And uh, there's some of those great videos that they let us put there. If you want to check it out, it's free. But anyway, I've talked enough. Let's sing this great song for you because of night. Hit it, Mark.